Hi, my name is Dan Deepass and I'm on the product management team here at MuleSoft. Today I'm going to show you how to use our new HTTP connector that's in our new 3.6 Milestone 2 release. It makes it easier than ever to connect to RESTful HTTP services, especially those that have a RAML associated with them. In this scenario, I've actually got a REST API running with a RAML, and it provides information about soccer teams. For instance, there's a team resource here which provides a list of soccer teams for specific cities. So let me just show you quickly how it works. Uh, I'm going to try this API out using our API kit console, and I'm going to provide a city, in this case Barcelona. And you'll see that it returns a list of teams for that city. So today I'm going to show you how to use this example in Studio and export that data into a CSV file. So to start off, I'm going to quick sketch out my flow here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this HTTP service and pretend that we want to export it to a file every hour. So I added a pull element here. I'm going to use our new HTTP request uh, connector, which I'll tell you more about in a second. I'm going to take that, I'm going to map it into a CSV file, and then finally I'm going to put that file somewhere on my file system. So let's go through and configure this bit by bit. First I'm going to set up my poll to just poll every hour. So let's change this to once every hour. And then next I'm going to start to use this new HTTP request element. And as I mentioned before, this is what makes it really easy to connect to services that have a RAML. And it's set up like any other connector. So you have a basic connector configuration which, which is shared and then you can use that connector configuration across any number of uh, processors inside your flow. So I'm going to create a basic configuration. You'll see that I can type in my host port and base path but I can also type in my RAML location. And since we have a RAML, let's do that today. So once I do this, it actually reads in the RAML and it populates my host port and base path automatically. But even better, it actually can tell me what resources I have, what methods are supported, and the specific query parameters and headers needed for those resources. So in this example, we're trying to get data out of the Teams resource. And you can see when I click on the Path dropdown, it actually suggests all the different resources and I can easily find the Teams resource. Once I've done this, it'll also suggest the applicable methods for that resource. So we're going to do a GET on that one. And then finally, it suggests the parameters for the resource. And we need to import a city in this case. So I can quickly type in Barcelona. And now, without having to go read any documentation, I'm able to quickly build a request for that particular HTTP service. Even better, though, this also works with DataSense. You can see here on the right that now, because of the RAML, we know the payload, and we can just give that structure directly to you in Data Mapper or in uh, our MEL auto-completion. In this case, we're just going to output it to a CSV file. So I'm going to select CSV, and I'm going to create a structure here manually for the CSV. And it's going to have two columns. One is going to be the team name, and the other is going to be the team home city. Once I've done that, uh, it's created a, a root level mapping for me. Because I have a, a child element here that's an array, I want to actually map that array to the CSV file, and then I can map the name and the home city. And then I'm just going to delete this root level mapping since I don't need it anymore. And then finally, I need to just choose an output directory for my file. In this case, I've added one into my project, and I can say here that I want it to be put into the teams.csv file. And then, let's just run this project and see what happens. You can see here it just ran and it outputted some data into the teams.csv file. I'm going to open up this file and you can see that I've now got two teams that came from my REST API. 
So that was a very quick demo of the new HTTP connector and the RAML capabilities inside Studio. Hope you enjoyed this and hope you try it out and give us some feedback. Thanks.